So it's a cancer-causing threat lurking undetected in millions of homes and buildings across the country right now. And experts say one in every four Michigan homes is estimated to have radon levels that exceed the recommended level. So I was reading about this and I got frightened because I don't know if, if how often we've checked and how much really we are aware that this goes on. Well, I don't think most people check. That is part yeah. of the issue, Karen and Demond. You know, you cannot see, smell, or taste radon gas, but it is in fact the likely cause of more than 20,000 lung cancer deaths each year. Now, a new survey found far too few are just aware of the risks and the steps that you can take to actually safeguard your home. Oh, wow. Chastity Harney always tried to live a healthy lifestyle. Oh, stop it. Lung cancer was nowhere on her radar. When I was diagnosed with lung cancer, um, you know, I didn't smoke, so there had to be something else out there. She learned her home had twice the acceptable limit of radon, a naturally occurring radioactive gas that's one of the leading causes of lung cancer in non-smokers. Until it happens to you or somebody that you know, a lot of people just they just look over it. A new national survey by Ohio State's Comprehensive Cancer Center finds 48% of Americans are unaware of the risks of radon in their home, and just one in four have had their homes tested. Radon is something we can do something about and is a known cause of a horrible disease, lung cancer, and it's remediable. So here's the mitigation system. Remediation usually involves capturing radon from the ground under the home. Radon is sucked up through this. And diverting it outside. While there are radon hotspots across the country, no one is without risk, and it doesn't just lurk in old, dark basements. This is more of a problem with modern homes because they tend to be more and more sealed up inside and, and weather tight. Um, and the radon just doesn't ha have anywhere to go. It goes into the house and it just builds up there. As she continues treatment, Chastity says she hopes others address the threat early to protect themselves and their families. Don't think that this isn't going to happen to you because I never dreamed I would get lung cancer. And I'm, I'm here, I'm living with it, and there's so many others just like me. Now, radon test kits can be purchased at home improvement or hardware stores. They're also available for low or no cost from many health departments. Radon is also a concern in other buildings like schools and offices, so it's really a good idea to ask if radon tests have been done in buildings where you actually might spend a lot of time. So if you're going to do a test, how often are you supposed to do it? So this is not a one and done kind of thing, actually. Radon levels can change over time, so the recommendation is to actually test your home every two years. You can also lower your risk, of course, by sealing uh, uh, by I should say by sealing cracks in floors and walls and opening your windows to air out your home to mm. basically ventilate any gases that may be building up.